I tell you, it's not often we get such a bird's eye view of our city's crime crisis in action. But thanks to a neighbor in Northeast Albuquerque, a victim was able to pass along his terrifying experience from start to finish, right to police, and tonight, also to you. Julie Frendak shares how one man's normal routine turned into a life or death experience right in broad daylight. Alfonso Gallegos has kept the same cardio routine for months. This is a very nonchalant, boring walk. I do this, I've done this for a year and a half, the same walk. But boring is the last word he'd use to describe Monday morning's walk. And sure enough, I just, I hear, Wah! and then, <laughs> His nonchalant walk quickly turned into running for his life. I, I get hit by this truck and the door, is opened at the same time, so it was literally like, I, you know, like I, I flew. I literally like flew in the air. I got, I got a little busted up. A neighbor's camera near Summer Avenue and Chama Street in Northeast Albuquerque caught the whole thing. You can see a white truck enter the frame and beeline for Gallegos. Gallegos takes off, but seconds later, you can see a man with a rifle chasing him. The suspect fires one shot, picks up his casing, and runs back toward the truck. I ran as fast as I could that way, and all I could think about was... All I could think about was living. Living especially for the sake of his 11-year-old son and mother who depend on him. I'm the sole provider of the house, you know what I mean? Like, if, if they don't have me, they don't... they can't eat. Gallego says he doesn't know anyone who would try to target him. Maybe he was trying to rob me. I don't know. I, I, maybe he was trying to steal my phone. I mean, that seems a bit ridiculous and extreme to do that, but who knows? And says he tries not to feed into negativity. There, there's so much bad, it's so easy to fall into that minutia. I don't want, I don't want to do that. However, it's hard when you, like, when you li quite literally get hit by a truck. Taking this as a sign that maybe it's time to switch up his routine. If you're fighting to survive, if you're fighting to live, if you're fighting to eat, if you're fighting to have a roof over your head, it's tough and it puts people in a bad position. And then it puts people in a crazy, unpredictable, I'll do whatever. All of our jaws are on the floor after watching that. Julie Frendak reporting, by the way. We did find out APD is telling us detectives are investigating and working to identify that suspect. One of Gallegos' friends is now offering a $2,000 reward for information that leads to an arrest. So you got an okay look at him in that video, but he's described the truck as a white Dodge Ram with a pretty distinct exhaust pipe on the back left. Bottom line, folks, if you know anything, if you've seen anything, call police with any information.